Hey, good morning everyone. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. Happy Friday. Pretty cloudy out here this morning. There's some rain down to the very south of us, quite a ways to the south, down around the Marco Island area. Chance of showers later today, just isolated showers later in the afternoon. Although when you look around, certainly looks like there's some rain out there. It wasn't showing up on the radar. That sure does look like rain. We'll see what happens this morning. It's 71 degrees right now. Today's highs are going to be oh, in the low to mid 80s. Take a walk down to the water. I actually feel a little bit of rain. It's almost like like a dew. It's like a mist. Because there is absolutely nothing showing up on the radar. There's some of our little white ibis friends out by the water. Three white ibis. So Roy, our friend Roy is still in the hospital. He didn't get discharged yesterday. Hopefully he will be released today. Jennifer Ann and Julie and David have all been keeping a close eye on him for us. If he doesn't get released, I'll be going to visit him around one o'clock today over at the hospital. Hopefully he won't be there though. Hopefully he'll be at home. Let's take a little stroll up the beach here. I don't think we're going to be seeing any sunshine this morning. It's really, really cloudy out here. Keep an eye open for any interesting shells or anything else along the beach here. Birds, marine life. It's crazy. It's not raining here, but the, it's it's like a mist I'm walking through. I can feel the water, the moisture in the air.
gorgeous out here. Even though it's overcast, I'm getting hypnotized by the sound of the waves here. Good morning. seeing anything yet, any really cool shells. All of our typical little seashells that we find are mossy arcs. Look at that, lots of look at all the little mossy arcs everywhere. Right here, bam, four little mossy arc shells. Right piled up almost on top of each other. A little pear whelk, an old pear whelk. Slipper shell. Hi, how are you doing? Yep, he's been in there for a few days now. He's got pneumonia. Yeah, so he'll be out hopefully today. No idea. No idea. <laughs> but he, hopefully, he'll be out today. Yeah. I mean, it, it wasn't a, a, a severe case of pneumonia, but at his age, any yeah. pneumonia is bad. Yeah. yeah, so hopefully, we were hoping he'd be out yesterday, but I, he wasn't feeling quite up to par yet, so they kept him another night. Hopefully, he'll be out back home. But he won't be out here for a little while. Uh, he'll probably be at home for a week, probably. Yeah, well, I know there's a flu going around. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and he just, he pushes himself, you know. Yeah. He shouldn't be out here as long as he is. He should be out for a couple hours and go home. But he stays out here till 2, 3 o'clock. Well, he, he loves the social life. Though. Well, he loves the beach. He loves it. <laughs> He's got salt water in his veins. He does. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Yep. If you know Roy... And his love for the beach. It's hard to keep him away from here. But he really needs to be encouraged to take it easy. Not spend so much time out here, especially when it's hot out and it's been unseasonably warm down here. His leg still isn't fully healed. So, <laughs> you know, that. When he's out here sweating, that's not good for his leg. He's got it all bandaged up, so. Hopefully, he'll pay attention to the lesson and listen to his doctor, but hey, he's 94 years old. And he didn't live to be 94 for no reason. <laughs> there is a bunch of pelicans out way offshore. It is just so dark out there. I don't know if the camera and try to force it to focus. Look at them all. Look at them all. That is a lot of pelicans out there. They're way, way out there. That is all pelicans. That is just incredible. Feeding. There must be a huge school of fish out there. You can barely see them from the beach here. I'm surprised I was able to zoom into them and get a focus being so dark out. Look at them all. They're like on a feeding frenzy out there. It's 
Sorry, I can't hold it any steadier. Incredible. That is a mass of pelicans. I cannot stand still in one place here. The darn no seams are just awful this morning. If you're not moving, they are biting you. Definitely needs your bug spray this morning here. Wow, that is incredible, all those pelicans out there. I wonder why I haven't seen any flying by here this morning. Now I know the reason, <laughs> they're all out there. Having, they're at their breakfast buffet. It looks like an all you can eat breakfast buffet. <laughs> It's like a Friday night at the Golden Corral. I can't believe how bad those no seams are. Same little three ibis we saw down the beach. They just kind of moved up. The other one's over here, up on the beach. I'm guessing if those pelicans are way out there, the dolphins are probably out there with them. There's that many pelicans out there. That means there's a huge school of fish. That is just amazing. I'm gonna try and stop and get you another look out there before I get eaten alive here. Look at them all out there. Look at all those pelicans. It's incredible. Good place if you're a fisherman to go out and drop a line, I'm sure. Come on, focus. There we go. These bugs are killing me. I cannot stand still here. I gotta keep moving this morning. I'm not seeing much of anything down here along the shore as far as seashells. A lot of broken stuff, a lot of rocks.
like a, a fisherman did get the idea of going out there. And there's a boat that just kind of slowed down there, a fishing boat, not too far from the pelicans there. That's just incredible, all those birds out there, just amazing. Look at them all out there. It's all pelicans. Wow. I haven't seen one pelican come by close to shore here. I got a feeling they are all sitting out there. incredible. There must be some good eating going on out there. <laughs> well, it definitely feels like it's raining here. But like I said, it was not showing up on the radar. But it's more of a mist than a rain. A mist with a T. A mist. Tide is still coming in here. Probably a couple hours or so, a few hours still high tide. Not the best time for shelling, obviously. I am seeing some. Some of our fighting conchs out here. Seen several fighting conch shells. They're usually pretty easy to find. This one's got some barnacles growing on it. The fighting conch. easy to spot the shells here when the sun's not out bright. That yeah, looks like just a white blob to me. <laughs> There's a lot of shells down here in the water all along this ridge. Looks like the pelicans are starting to disperse. I can't see them in the camera here, but maybe the feeding frenzy is over out there. What do we got down here? Anything? Oh, there's a little little baby fighting conch. Just a little one. That's an interesting looking mossy arc shell. Usually they're a real dark brown color. There's a kitten's paw. Yesterday I was trying to find a Kitten's paw, kitten's paw with some nice color. There's a nice one. I can really see why they call it a kitten paw. Very obvious. A 
moon shell over here. What kind of shape is it in? Good shape. Nice one. Nice moon shell. Cool. The shelling's not been very good lately. Always happy to find a moon shell. Seams are eating me up here. Eating me up. Nice little carpet of shells here. These are, this is the kind of stuff that you've really got to sift through. If you're looking for little shark's teeth, there's a good chance they're buried in here, but they're so tiny and hard to see. So many little chips of shells and rocks in there, kind of deceiving. an osprey. I hear an osprey calling out. I heard him chirping away somewhere. So dark here. Very, very hard to see. You can, you can't even see the sun. It's got a little glow over here where the sun is. Other than that, we are socked in with the clouds here this morning. Like I say, every morning, totally, totally different every morning. Just never know what to expect out here. Dolphins, no dolphins, pelicans, no pelicans. Shells, no shells. Rain, no rain. <laughs> I love coming out here. If you enjoy these beach walks, please hit that share button. Let your friends know what you're watching. Have them invite them to join us for the walk. Nice little fighting conch there. It's definitely drizzling on me now. There's a nice slipper shell. Nice little slipper shell. Beautiful little scallop over here. Nice little scallop. Interesting looking little worm shell over here. Little worm tip, tip of the worm shell. There's a cool looking mossy arc there. It's got a neat pattern on it. Very cool. Over here is a turkey wing. Similar, kind of slit, similar looking to the mossy arc, the turkey wing. Oh, darn. Here's a, one of my favorite shells down here, a piece of one of them. I haven't seen any of these lately. That's a banded tulip shell. A banded tulip, unfortunately. It's 
Got a big chunk of it missing. The banded tulip. Beautiful little shells. like a lot of gulls up here in front of me. Some seagulls and maybe some terns mixed in with them. We'll take a look at them. Little sandpipers over here running around. As you can see, it's wet and cloudy right now. This is not a heavy rain. It is, like I said earlier, it's kind of a cross between a mist and a rain. Just enough to be annoying. Definitely cooling things down. There's all those seagulls. Can you see them over here on the beach? There's an old turkey wing. Pretty good size one, boy. Pretty good size old turkey wing shell there. This is something that's cool here. This is just a little tip of a pen shell. But look at the, the iridescent colors in that, the pen shell. Isn't that beautiful? just the bottom, the point of a pen shell. Those colors are just amazing. park rangers in the back there looks like debbie back there making her morning rounds unfortunately they spend most of their time on their morning rounds picking trash up on the beach sad 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 there's an old looks like an old lightning whelk down here let me see yep an old lightning whelk. Faded and chipped. An old, looks like an old moon shell maybe down here. Yep, boy, look how pitted. Look how pitted that moon shell is. Wow. Oh, 
couple little cockle shells. Cockles. Oh boy. There goes a lot, another big group of pelicans. Let me see if I can zoom in here. Hopefully get a focus. Look at them all. An armada of pelicans. Wow. That is unbelievable. There, it's paying around here. Look at them all. Absolutely incredible. Absolutely amazing. All the pelicans, they're pretty far out there this morning. But they are here nonetheless. Good morning. All our little seagulls up on the beach. A lot of them just cleaning themselves. They're all busy cleaning themselves. I guess they're taking advantage of the little bit of rain that's coming down, that fresh water. I guess they like a fresh water shower once in a while too. Oh boy, more pelicans, not a big group, but more flying by out there. See if we can see them here go by. There they go. Making their way down to the south like they have been the past three mornings. Cool. There's our friend Astrid. Good morning, Astrid. If you're looking to purchase a home or a condo here in Southwest Florida, you need to get a hold of our friend Astrid. Great friend, great realtor, knows the area well. Give her a call, Astrid Lawrence. She'll take her time to show you the area. So many Wonderful gated communities here and such a diverse, they're so diverse. I mean, the price ranges, the locations, there's something for everybody and Astrid can definitely help you find something to fit your needs. just joining us here make sure you introduce yourself to the group let everybody know where you're watching from that's what 
these beach walks are all about. Bringing people together on social media and making new friends. And there's our shell sculptures holding strong. I'm sure the artists would be happy to know they're still here. Raymond from France, that's all he wants to be known as, Raymond from France, the gentleman that made these. So very cool. You can see how big they are. They're a good five feet across those circles. Very, very cool. Well, what would make this gloomy morning a bit nicer would be a dolphin coming by. <laughs> I'm having dolphin withdrawals. I haven't seen any up this way lately. They've all been up by Wiggins Pass. We have seen plenty of pelicans, though. Plenty of pelicans. Some more little sandpipers piping along the beach. There's a bunch of them running around up here in the background. So small, though. I don't know if you can see them. Back up in there, just around that seagull there. And where's Mike and Mary Ann? Usually see them out here looking for fossils and sharks' teeth. There's one lone white ibis. One lone little white ibis. That was a shell. Nothing to eat there. If you've ever gone to the Naples Zoo, you can get an up-close look at these white ibises. Just amazing. Over around the lake, Lake Victoria at the Naples Zoo. The white ibis are just incredible. They come right up to you begging for food. Fun place, the Naples Zoo. One of the many great attractions we have here in Naples. Anything washing up here? Wow, nice kitten's paw. Look at that one. Look at the size of that one. That is a good size one there. You want to see more of the fun things to do that are 
attractions or restaurants, whatever, check out Nonstop Naples Facebook page. They have some good posts, Nonstop Naples. Check them out on Facebook. Check out their website, download their app. Some great information about Naples. Of course, the Inn of Naples, wonderful, wonderful hotel if you're thinking about staying here, the Inn of Naples. This is it, huh? Good, I'll see you All right. Okay. Have a safe trip back and thank you. We'll see you. Uh, see you in April. April seventeenth. April seventeenth. All right. See Have a good guys. one. One of our beach friends. He is actually there. Him and his wife will be moving here permanently. April seventeenth from Ohio. He is excited about that. And you could be living here too, get a hold of Astrid. <laughs> there, you can find, there's something for everybody in Naples. Obviously, you're not going to get anything close to the beach for cheap in Naples. You're going to have to go more inland, but there are some reasonably priced communities here, especially condominiums. Astrid can hook you up. Still keeping an eye to the ground here as I'm walking along, hoping to find something of interest, but not having much luck this morning. This piece of an old lightning whelk shell. Boy, we have found some nice lightning whelks out here. One day I came out here and I must have picked up 30 lightning whelks. They were just in piles on the beach after a storm. You enjoy these morning walks. Remember, I don't get paid to do this. If you like what you see and you want to send a little tip, make, send a little contribution is always appreciated. Every, every little bit helps, believe me. Like I was saying, Naples is not the cheapest place in the world to live, but it is beautiful. And I work hard just like everybody else to earn a living and I do enjoy coming out here and doing this and I do spend a lot of time doing this. So if you want to send something, thank you. You can always find a, a link to my PayPal account in the description of these posts. And as I said, every little bit helps. Let's see, we're getting a bad connection up here picture gets fuzzy on your end. Hopefully the connection will resume here in a minute. Keep walking. You can always watch a replay of these videos on YouTube. There, we're back now. Still waiting for more news about Roy. Waiting to find out if he's getting out of the hospital today. Hopefully everything will be all right and he'll get released and be back home later today. I will let you know. I'm planning to go visit him at the hospital around one o'clock if he doesn't get released. I will give you an update 
on his status later today. Hey, good morning. How are you? Good. How are you? Good, good. Did you notice that all the pelicans are in, flying in long lines south this morning? Yeah, this morning, they, they all of them were out, way out there. There must have been a huge school of fish. Oh. They were just, it looked oh. like a, a black line out on the horizon. But they I were just, just sitting saw, out. Like yep. five lines of the Yep, they all, they all started, so they finally the, took off. Does that mean the weather's bad in the north? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, they all, every morning they're flying to the south. Oh, they nice. start up here and then they go down to the south. Oh. I don't know what. Maybe they go to feed down in the um, Everglades. Now. Maybe, more in the 10,000 islands yeah. there. Yeah. yeah. I don't know, but yeah, every morning. I've, the past three mornings, oh, I've been seeing a lot of them. Wow. A lot. Well, but, it's good to see them. But this, yeah, this morning they were just, like, all of them were out there. I mean, wow. there, must, there was like hundreds of them. Wow. <laughs> what time are you here? Oh, this is about a half hour ago. Half an hour. Yep. And that, now they've all just left and yep. gone down the beach further. Wow. It was like a pelican convention. <laughs> maybe it was. Maybe it was. Maybe. <laughs> See you later. Morning. Yeah, those pelicans that we saw earlier out in the Gulf, that was just incredible how many there were. Well, here we are up at Roy's Beach. Kind of dark. I can't see up in the nest there, the osprey nest. I'm sure there's somebody up there stirring around. I just can't see. That nest is up in the center of the screen there. Yep, there you go. Oop, somebody just took off. Must have been camera shy. I think I saw the other one in there as he took flight. <laughs> that was funny. Right as I zoomed in took off. I don't know where he went. I lost sight of him here. He went behind me. I don't think it's going to clear up here today. It's going to be overcast all day and what I saw in the forecast, not that it it's right all the time, but it looked like they said there's a chance of rain later today throughout the day, later in the afternoon, better chance of rain. But we are in area five now. We've Crossed over to Area 5 at the north end of the park. I've not seen any dolphin activity again this morning. They've been spotted here later in the day. They've been seeing the dolphins up at Wiggins Pass in the mornings. Wiggins Pass is the north end of the park here. That's the northern border. Hence the name Delnor Wiggins Pass State Park.
the rain has stopped, or it was more like 100% humidity. <laughs> Sure, there's a little more on the way. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Are you getting that camera wet or your phone? It's waterproof. Oh, okay. It's not raining. But you're not. It's not raining anymore. It wasn't raining. It was. It was like 100 percent humidity. It wasn't raining. It was glitter. It was. Yeah. Well, it was like a mist. It wasn't really a downpour. When the, the lights hit it, it looked like glitter. I walked outside. I was like, "What's going on?" It looked like glitter. <laughs> People don't recognize you without your flamingo hat. <laughs> I know. I did drive in with I'm it surprised. on. You don't have a flamingo umbrella. What's I, up? I know. I know. Because it's not supposed to rain. <laughs> it, it wasn't on the radar. There oh, wasn't really? any rain on the radar. But maybe just too much moisture. There you this go. Morning. <laughs> So, Julie, how are things going today? They're going very Good. well. Um, I've been down to the end. Uh, uh -huh. Okay, so I went down there and I, I pretended like I was you and Roy. Okay, there you go. Both. So depending Both on, of us. Well, whichever situation I might be in. So I went down to the, to, by the fisherman uh -huh. where he starts out. Right. Okay, and I said some prayers down there. Nice. Then I found a, a shell with a hole in it. Oh, beautiful. So I came back by and hung that. Beautiful. Okay, and then now let's see who was I pretending I was whenever I did this. What did you do? Hmm. <laughs> Why can you not leave the beach without a moon shell? Oh well, no, I'm not, <laughs> I haven't been that lucky. <laughs> oh yeah, a shell snob. Pocket full of shells. Yeah, you, you can't. You have to pick them up. Well, that's what you tell me, so I did. <laughs> well, because I told you. Because I'm, I'm out here watching everything, and I'm not paying attention to shells. So I was like, okay, I have to stop and look. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. One of the few. I said, you know, because all the times I watch the videos and everything, yep. I'm like, I want to go do that. Well, now I'm here, and I'm not paying any attention to doing it. <laughs> I'm looking That's all right. Have you it's... seen any dolphins? No. You didn't see any up there, huh, at the pass? That's where they've been seeing them in the morning, is up there. I have not seen any come by for the past four or five days. They're here. I mean, they see them later in the day. Mm -hmm. I mean, we can't, we can't predict them. Yeah, Sad. that's true. So I think you might have been the last person to see Roy here. I don't know if anybody saw him after you saw him. No, you it, were. No, you were there yesterday. Oh, oh, okay. You mean yesterday? Yeah, I yeah, thought you yeah, meant no, here. Yeah, no, I mean at the hospital. Yes, yeah. I yes, What's I tucked the... him in last night. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And oh well, and then um, Emily showed up. Okay, great. And we got, grabbed a bite to eat, so we went back up and woke him back up. Okay. Isn't Emily a sweetheart? I love her. Yeah. She, she is we, had, a we, had, we had a sleepover at her house last night. It was fun. Did you? Mm -hmm. oh, She's nice. down here by herself, too. I was wondering if you were driving home every night or what you were doing. I had been, but she invited wow. me, and I said, ooh, I'd love a sleepover, because she's down here with just one of her boys. How are you explaining this to your husband? Oh, he, he knows me. He's like, oh, have fun. <laughs> That's funny. So yeah. how, did, how was Roy looking last night? Fabulous. Yeah, fabulous. In his in his Queen Elizabeth room. It's Queen Elizabeth. Have room? you not seen it? No, I haven't. I didn't. Twelve know. foot windows. Oh boy. A recliner. Oh, and it's a warm room because it's east facing, so he sees this. Oh, nice. We sat there last night and watched the sunset. Oh, how beautiful. So you have twelve foot windows, fifteen feet across. It took me three shots with my normal camera uh -huh. to get the panoramic view. Oh wow. Um, and then I went to the bathroom, and I looked. Cause you know what I was doing. You know where I was, and I look across, and there is a view from the toilet. No way. Way. I can't describe it. I mean, you I'm just. Look out the bathroom window. I'm describing it to you, but I cannot do it justice with words. Wow. I took pictures. I was so impressed. And I said, <laughs> the next time I get sick, I'm coming down here, and I'm reserving a room on four, five, or six. It has to be one, two, three. Yeah, it's all, that's the it's, east facing yeah, it's all room. those big windows. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. I will facing, not get sick at home. Facing. 
Okay, yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> west facing. Um, yes, yeah, west fe the facing. Yes, the sunset. Okay. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, if I ever get sick again, oh, I'm, I'm going to drive down and get sick at that hospital. Well, I'm sure, well you didn't weren't, weren't saying that the first day. You were kind of disappointed. What? When he was in the ER, you were like, well, I've never seen a, a system like this. Well, <laughs> the ER is always a weird place. Yeah, nobody wants to be there anyway. And I'm not saying it's not free of weirdness up there. <laughs> it's just a little bit less. No, it's a lot less. The, yeah. the, the, it's minimal. Yeah. But in the ER, most ERs, it's like that, you oh, know? Yeah. It's huge. So he, well, I'm sure he enjoys that view. That probably brightened his spirits a lot, being able to see the sun. He got a tan yesterday. He got a tan in his room. <laughs> I have to stay away from the windows if I don't have on sunscreen. Well, let me know. Are you going to go see him this morning? Mm -hmm. Let me know because I'm planning on getting being able to go over there around 1. Okay. So let me know if they release him. Right. I will. All right. I will. Or, or Jenny will. Okay. Um, he has either Jenny or Ron or me. Ron. Oh, Ron. Okay, Ron. We'll take him home today. Okay. If he gets to escape. Hopefully he will. We think he will. Yeah. They weren't making any promises yesterday just in case. Right. Well, they never want to commit to anything. Right. Okay. <laughs> but it looked like he was going to make his grand escape today. His escape. Yes, yes. He would have made it yesterday. Well, if that he had bed his has way. wheels and I wouldn't bring him my paddle yet. So <laughs> I might consider it today depending on what the doctor says. But it is not his leg. No. I was in there when the doctor was there Very for his good. leg and he said, it was the one that he saw downtown when uh -huh. Jenny took him downtown. Uh -huh. So this man hasn't seen him in a while. And he said, wow, it looks so much better than the last time I saw it. Oh, and I yeah. showed him mine. And I said, is this what it's going to look like? And he said, yes, but a little bit larger, more baseball sized. Mm. Whereas yours is like this. His is going to be a little bit bigger. But he said, yes, that's what we're looking for right there. And I said, see, Roy? And I said, it takes forever. But he had so much, right. he was peeling skin off of his leg because he had so much skin growth. This is a right. good sign. Wow. So, the skin. And I'm guessing it itches too, doesn't it, when that skin, doesn't it kind of? They you know, came and cleaned it all Because he's, he's always trying to scratch. I'm always telling him to stop scratching, stop scratching. Well, it, it, yes, because it's, it's trying to peel off. That's, that's a good sign. You know no, how it no, is. I don't think you're supposed to scratch at well, it. Well, no, but you know how it is when everything starts getting dried out. Mm -hmm. This is a good sign. You know, that well, yeah, it was just like mush before. Right? It was, no, yeah, it, it no, horrible. it's looking so good. Sweet. Yeah. So yeah. it is not his leg. So. It's well, just, that's that's great. So there's it's no. It's just the pee pneumonia, there. like he says. Pee pneumonia. Yes, that's what he says. <laughs> so funny, pee pneumonia. <laughs> so, but he we he sat there yesterday after dinner. He sang for a good hour. He sang me all kind. Of, oh, he sang uh, me the he sang me the uh, Chiquita Banana oh my gosh, commercial. Him and that. He, I, I, I love that commercial. Yeah. Remember the lady oh, and yeah. she had you yeah. know she do a little dance and she yeah, with the, yeah. all the fruit, the fruit on her head. Yep. Uh -huh. He sang the whole song. He remembers every oh, word. He sings that for us every once in a while. He well, reminisces. Of the, I think he had a crush on her. Well, who didn't? <laughs> I think that was I the didn't. point I of the commercial. Well, yeah, but I mean for the grown man because I think she wore like a. Little, it looked like, like a, a strong thing. Like a, yeah, yeah, it was like a little belly dancer yeah. thing with her fruit on it. All the men loved her. She was hot. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. They know what they're doing when they're doing advertising. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sex yeah. sells. Oh, yes, it does. Yeah. Yeah. Look at me. Yeah. Bananas. Look yeah. at me. Yeah. Bananas. <laughs> oh, he, he, he sings that for us every once in a while during our little visits. He's he was funny. singing all kinds of stuff. And of course, he's schmoozed every single woman up there that works oh, I'm there. Oh, sure. I'm One sure. of them, uh, the nurse yesterday, Margaret. Sure. She, I wonder why he's not jumping out of bed trying to hug him. Well, or he, is he, he does. <laughs> yes, it, he'll take the hugs. This lady, Margaret, um, she was his nurse yesterday, and she came in. She was working with this stuff, and she comes running back in there, and she says, "I didn't know who you were." Uh. And she said, "It's such an honor to meet you." And I said, uh, "I said, Roy, she googled you." <laughs> and she got he got the super deluxe treatment from her oh nice so we have to tell the goo the the um nurses to google him there you go He's you don't know who this is right you That's need what to we google tell him. his He's name a celebrity. <laughs> <laughs> that's the mayor of del nor wiggins well if you google his name a ton of stuff pops up oh yeah well he's actually we've we've raised him up to governor Oh, he's, he's governor now. He's governor of the beach. Now. Okay. Governor of Del Norway. Yes, definitely. <laughs> All right. Well, the governor should, looks like he's going to be back. Oh yeah, he's. I didn't have any doubts. He's not leaving us. 
Oh, well, no, I mean back, you oh, know, yeah. out of the hospital. Oh, yeah. Yeah, either yeah. today, at latest tomorrow. But he's not going to be out here for another five days no, or so. No, he should not be. And another thing, too, I was looking it up. He really doesn't need to be sitting under the um, poopy bird tree <laughs> sucking on a harmonica. That's yeah. one thing that causes pneumonia. He needs to. I was going to Google that today, see how you can sterilize that thing. I'm sure you can clean it. You can. You mm -hmm. know, and I'm sure it needs a good, especially the other, after 80 years. Right. Yeah, that's kind of... <laughs> Yeah, so he needs it, but he's going to, they talked to him about that at the hospital, too, about Good. cleaning his harmonicas. Good. I'm but, sure you can just drop it in something, something alcohol Wipe it something. down with the... Um, they got to get inside it where the spit gets in there. <laughs> I, I don't know, but we'll figure it out. Yeah. There's a way to clean them. I know oh, that yeah, there absolutely. is. absolutely. You have to clean them. You would have yeah. to. So, um, but sitting under that tree is not good either. The bird poop has some sort of fungus in it. And if it gets in your lungs, it can cause pneumonia. Hmm. So that could be it too. Or it could just be that he's 94 and sometimes people with 94 get the pneumonia for no reason. Yeah, I don't know, he's been sitting under that bird poop for a long, long time. That last day <laughs> we were together, um, before the day he went to the hospital, uh -huh. where he was at the beach and the doctor's office and then the hospital, it was a busy day. Um, he was out here for eight straight hours. Yeah, that's, and that's the other problem right there. He cannot be out here that And he long. had one bottle of water. He had this much left in it. And I said, Roy, I'm on number six. Yep. Yep. Nope. He is not drinking enough and spending too much time out here. But let me tell you something. He's a bit competitive. Oh, yeah. Oh, I absolutely. came in yesterday and I said, I've already had my sixth one. And he had a little short bottle of water and it was still full. I turned around about 10 minutes later. It was empty. <laughs> That's I was like, right. all right, <laughs> now I know how to get you. There you go. <laughs> Make it a competition. Exactly. Perfect, Julie. Perfect. Perfect. Well, I'm going to run on all right. and see him. All right. The sun's coming up. All right. So it's about to get warm. Well, it's trying. It's trying. Oh, it's going to come through. It's okay. Burn this okay, off. Roy. <laughs> there you go. It's glorious. Well, I want to see. It is. And I want to see some dolphins. I don't care if it's cloudy or what. It's always just beautiful. Me either. You saw me oh. walking with my yeah. umbrella. I love it out here. I do I too. It. So does Roy. <laughs> We'll be out. We've been out here in tropical storms and downpours. Oh, and I know. Y'all been out here on cold days that I would. Oh yeah. <laughs> there would be no way. And he probably shouldn't be doing that either. Um, no, that's really not good for your lungs. <laughs> generally, he not be doing that. That cold air. You try keeping him off the beach. Yeah, sure. Why do I have to have that job? That's a hard job. <laughs> it's an impossible job. Yeah, but you know what I did? I went down to the pier yesterday, oh, and beautiful. I put I put um, a lot of sand and a few shells into a baggie ah. and so I'm gonna I'm gonna show it to him when he gets home and I'll say here's your beach there you go I brought it to your house nice mm -hmm. when he was in rehab last year somebody I forget who somebody sent him a little a little box and it had it was like a little dish and it had a little beach chair with an, an umbrella a little pair of flip-flops and sand <laughs> It was his little beach to have in his room. But I took, I didn't get sand from here. I took it from up at, um, by the pier on Naples Beach. Yeah. You know, cause that's the real white powdery sand. Yep. yep. And so I thought maybe it might be a bit cleaner than this sand, yeah, you know. Yeah, you never know. So I'll just make him keep it in the baggie. Store-bought sand, you need to get store-bought sand. No, it's not the same. It's not that <laughs> sugary soft stuff. Right, but it's cleaner. No, the, the play box sand is rough. It's got, it's got bird poop in it, the sand everywhere. Well, I know. <laughs> but it's in a baggie, so I'll just have him keep it in the baggie. All right. So, yeah, I hope he gets out today, though. I do, too. Let me know, okay? I will. I will. I will. So I'll, I'll run by the house if he's there instead of the hospital. Okay. But I've got a break in between work today around 1. So. Okay. Well, as soon as I hear anything, I will forward you that message. All righty. All right. All right. Thanks, Julie. Later. Have a wonderful okay, day, and too. thanks for the update. Oh, no problem. Take care. So many, so many great people looking after Roy. Gotta love it. Julie, Jennifer, Ron, David, Emily. All you wonderful people. And all of you people on Facebook showing concern for him. God bless you. Like Julie says, we're hoping he gets out today. If you missed Julie's and my conversation there, you can watch it, the replay here. You can 
get the update, get the scoop on Roy. Her and Emily were the last ones to see him last night in the hospital. So that was great. I'm glad she was out here. I was hoping to see her out here. Well, here's my favorite view, but not so colorful this morning. <laughs> Up here in Area 5. Still beautiful though, I don't care. Clouds, rain, no clouds, blue sky, whatever, I'll take it. I'll take this over the cold, wet snow any day of the year. Let's snap off a quick photo, hang tight. Well, that might be the only picture I post today. We'll see. I'll, I just try to always share at least one photo from my beach walk, and that's where I'll include the link to YouTube where you can watch the replay of this video. And I always try and encourage people to watch the replays on YouTube. There went three white ibis flying by. Watch the videos, the replays on YouTube. Much better quality than Facebook. YouTube was designed for videos, whereas Facebook was more for pictures and vlogging. Then they, then they added the video to it. YouTube's much better for video. You can find my channel on YouTube. If you just search Southwest Florida Television YouTube, you'll find it. Or if you're on YouTube, search for Southwest Florida Television. This morning, early this morning, I shared a link to one of my YouTube videos, one of my aerial videos of Big Hickory Pass up in Bonita and some aerial views of the old Bonita Springs water tower, which they're in the process of dismantling right now. They're tearing it down. That was a landmark, that water tower. Sad to see it go. Sad to see it go. If you live in Southwest Florida, especially in Naples or Bonita, South Fort Myers today, today is Dollar Day at the Naples Greyhound Track, the Naples Fort Myers Greyhound Track. Dollar draft beers, hot dogs, popcorn, soda, water, coffee. The races start at one. Then they wrap up usually right around 5, and then they start again at 7 p.m. tonight, night racing. Dollar day, all day long. $2 to get in. I'm not a gambler. I'll go there, have a couple hot dogs and a couple draft beers, but I like going there and seeing the dogs that they have up for adoption. They have them downstairs, and you can... Pet them, get an up close look at some of those beautiful greyhounds. A lot of dogs are going to be going up for adoption here within the next year and a half. Hopefully, they find homes for all of them. They are beautiful dogs. It's actually, that's, it's very deceiving, the colors here. Somebody says it looks like it's getting more blue. Well, it's actually gray, but that's how the camera sees the gray because of the shadows. If you ever notice, shadows sometimes kind of look bluish rather than black in pictures, especially in 
videos on an iPhone. That's actually gray all around. Now there is some blue, a little teeny tiny patch of blue right up in here above me. But other than that, it is all gray, but it kind of comes across as looking blue. It's beautiful though. The water's got that green color to it this morning. We're seeing more of the natural color of the water because of the cloud, the cloud cover. <laughs> that was funny. Oh, I just saw a dolphin. See if we see it come up out here. The camera's having an almost impossible for the camera to focus out here. Let's see. I saw one come up, making its way swimming to the right. I don't know if we're going to see it out there or not. I can't even see if the camera is focusing out here. It's so dark. Let's see if we see him pop up here. He's staying under for a while. He or she. Ugh. Now it's way down here. Darn it. Just getting, it's moving kind of fast. Sorry folks. Almost impossible to see out here. Ooh, there might be two of them. I'm just guessing where they're going to come up. They've come up three times and I've missed them here. Hang on. Come on, dolphin. Show yourself. We might get one look at it if we're lucky. I swear he's out there. Now he's going further out. Ah, oh, okay, there's two of them. One's going farther out. We're not gonna see it. We're not gonna see him. One is really far out. I'm sorry. They're here though. That's the good news. They're making their way up the beach. Not enough light to really see them well out there. Now where did they go? I don't know where they went. Well, I tried. Uh, hey, good morning. Did you see the dolphin? Yeah. Finally. <laughs> yep. I'm sorry I didn't get you a look at them. It's just too dark here to see them. And they're really far offshore. They're way, way out there. So they're here. Believe me, they're always here. Just don't know what time they're going to be here. <laughs> oh, that was so great to see Julie here. She is quite a character. She just kind of popped into our lives here over the last weekend. Last Saturday, she showed up here, came over and sat down, joined Roy and I and Ron. And she has become a good friend, a close friend to Roy. Thank goodness. Between her and Jennifer, they're taking really good care of Roy. So glad I saw her this morning and she's been spending a lot of time at the hospital, her and Jennifer. So she shared a little update on Roy with us. Apparently he's in a really nice room at the hotel. 
at the hotel, at the hospital, at the hotel. What am I saying? The room's like a hotel room. <laughs> Hopefully he's gonna be out of there today. Keeping our fingers crossed. I don't know where those dolphins just kind of headed out to sea. Started to see some pelicans flying by. Not in big groups, though. We saw some big groups earlier this morning. Actually saw a huge group of pelicans offshore this morning. Huge. It was just incredible. Absolutely incredible. Looks like it could be raining down to the south of us. There's a pretty nice little compressed look at our beach. You can see down to Vanderbilt Beach. Pelican Bay. Not as many people out here today, obviously. I'll turn around and give you a look up to the north like that, a little zoomed in look. A little different perspective of the beach when you zoom in like that. It's fun seeing the kids playing at the beach, enjoying it. A little cloudy weather isn't going to stop kids from having fun. did see our ospreys in the nest this morning, just for a fleeting moment. Saw one take off from the nest this morning. So that's a look up to the north. Starting to feel a little rain again. Just a little bit. Good morning. There's 
a whole bunch of little sandpipers in front of me. See them scurrying around there right by the water's edge. breeze starting to kick in now Ooh, need that earlier this morning when I was stopping to show you the pelicans I was getting eaten alive by no seams that little breeze makes a big difference though keeping the bugs away find much in the way of shells this morning. A couple little kittens paws and one little moon shell. One little moon shell this morning. Nothing much. Nice one though. Nice color. A couple little kittens paws. Let's see if I can find that in my pocket. One wasn't so little. kitten's paws. I think the other one's bigger than that. Morning. Yeah, the other one was bigger. Here. Look how big that one is. That's a nice one. turkey wing shell a little turkey wing what else did I pick up yeah, I picked up a mossy arc too yeah this mossy arc kind of has a neat pattern on it with the stripes the mossy arc shell still out here trying to enjoy the beach I don't blame them especially if you're down here on vacation I'm gonna get out here no matter what I'm so blessed to be able to come out here whenever I want basically I'm so close so many people that live here take this beach for granted they don't enjoy it. They don't come out and use it. Hard to believe.
Hey, if you enjoy these morning walks, be sure to share them. Tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Remember, nobody pays me to come out and do this. I'm out here for your enjoyment and my enjoyment. I do enjoy doing this. If you want to send a little thank you, a little tip or donation, whatever you want to call it, it is always appreciated. You can find a link to my PayPal account here in the description of this post. Here's a little snowy egret here. Looking for a fish to swim by. It's amazing that they can spot the fish in these little waves here, but they can. They will get one. Absolutely amazing. The little snowy egrets. One of our little feathered beach friends. Them, the white ibises, the pelicans, the seagulls, the terns, the ospreys. Little sandpipers. So many little birds out here. Oh, and I forgot the biggest bird of them all out here, the snowbird. <laughs> we have lots of snowbirds. What was I thinking? Five little white ibis up in front of me again. More white ibis. White ibises. Me trying to me trying to get a picture there, sorry. Well we're back to our starting point in area two, the boardwalk in area two. Sorry I wasn't able to get you a good look at those dolphins this morning and look at those two dolphins. They're just too far offshore. Kind of dark out here, hard to get the camera to focus, but I tried. I want to thank everyone for watching this morning. Do take the time to check out all my photos and videos. Go to YouTube. Search for some of those dolphin encounters on YouTube. Those are some great videos. Safe and sound, where we started from. Well, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful, wonderful Friday. God willing, I'll see you in the morning here. Until then, for Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.